Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to my first video and the first video in the the decoder playlist. So I'm planning to make uh maybe a lot many videos, a lot of videos talking about this thing so that you can understand the basics of electronics and the basics of computer architecture. And yeah, this is a decoder. So a decoder is like the key to understanding the world. It takes complex information and turns it into something we can make sense of. It takes binary inputs and helps select the right output. So a common use case for decoder is in memory system where they are used to select a specific memory location based on the address provided as input. Decoders are also essential in various digital applications like microcontrollers, data routing, display drivers, and more, where they help in simplifying control and data distribution tasks by mapping binary inputs to specific outputs. So, so let's give this a try. So in my design, if we input a zero, which is in binary form is zero, 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 it should output a nine. So if we input zero, 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 it will output a nine. So let's have another one, another example. So in my design, if we input a nine, which is one, zero, zero, one, it should output an eight. So one, zero, zero, one should output an eight. So that is a decoder. It translate binary into decimal. So I will make a, vid, a lot of videos doing, doing K mapping, teaching K mapping, and also I will also do video about the Queen McCluskey method and the and the Petrix method. So there are actually three ways that I know of that on how to make this thing here, which is the Carnot map, uh, the tabulation method, which is the Queen McCluskey, and the Petrix method. So I will go over that three and explain mm -hmm. how all how the three methods can can lead to to also one answer and what is the best method to use, and yeah, in all your project and all your digital electronic projects. So. And I will, but first we must learn the basic, which is the transistor logic gates. So I will do uh, a video about that next so that we can understand fully what is inside this things right here, this, this, in, this ICs right here, what is inside it and how it works. So yeah, see you on the next video.